Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in ClickSense. Since last few videos, we'll be doing data visualization using ClickSense and this video is in continuation of that. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough that how can we perform the Salesforce data visualization by using ClickSense. So first of all, let me show you the data which I'm going to visualize by using ClickSense. So I have got a sales application in my Salesforce and within sales application, I have got opportunities and I'm going to visualize this opportunity records. I would like to find out that how many opportunities are still open or how many orders we have been cracked what other what will be the total revenue has been generated from those opportunities so these all are my requirements so i would like to visualize my requirement by using clicksense so let's have a look how can we pull the data from salesforce into clicksense and we'll do the data visualization so I switch to ClickSense now and in ClickSense, first of all, I'm going to create a new app. So I click on create new app and I give name as BISP test app. Create this and so it will create a new BISP test app here. So I click on open app to add the data into it. So the in next screen, first of all, we need to get add the data. So I click on add data. So I click on add data as soon as I click on add data I'll get the various different connectors which will be useful for me or which can help me to to get the data from various data sources or from different data sources and if you look carefully we are getting one Salesforce option here so when I click on Salesforce because I would like to pull data from Salesforce so I click on Salesforce and it will ask me to create a new connection. So it's asking few properties like username, password, security token, and so on. So I provide my pass username. My username is, this username will be your Salesforce credential username. So I give summit.bisp at bisp.com password. As uh, all of you know that Salesforce maintains the data security and in continuation of that salesforce uh, provide a security token salesforce required a security token if you are trying to get the salesforce data out of uh, out of the network or out of the salesforce so we need a security token so how to get the security token so those who are familiar with salesforce it's good for them they must be knowing that how can we reset the security token if any one of you are they are new to Salesforce and they, they don't know how to reset security token, they can follow the steps which I'm going to do here right now. So when you log, just switch to Salesforce here, you will find your login name. Your name would be coming here. They say that what is uh, this is the name of the current user who has logged in. Drop down, click on my settings. click on personal expand it and there you will get an option reset my security token so I click on reset my security token and I click reset security token when I click reset security token it says that they have sent uh, the security token on the registered mail ID and that's the mail ID that's my registered mail ID which I have which I have provided while registering on this account and this developer account so I have received a security token on my mailbox so I copy the security token from here and paste it over here as required URL is optional so I'm not going to provide any URL right now and bulk API name is optional so name I'll say Salesforce connection and move click next so it may take some time to build a connection with the Salesforce by using the details by using your account properties which you have provided here and once the connection is successful it will it will give a uh, it will display the next screen where it will be going to show us uh, it will be going to show all it will display all the tables so you can see these are all the tables which are available within Salesforce 
but because I'm interested only in opportunities, so I'll look for opportunities and click on opportunity. I select opportunity and it will display all the fields which are available within opportunities along with the records. So that's a data preview. It will display the all the fields along with their records. And finally, I'm going to click load and finish data. If you are not requiring ID or is delete or account ID. So the fields which you are not required to be loaded into ClickSense, you can remove them. I can uncheck them because these are not required by me. So I'm going to remove it because uh, just to save the memory space. So yes. Casting and campaign and have opportunity limit price book owner ID created date created by last modified So I'm not requiring all these fields So if you want you can go for them else you can also remove them. So I uncheck all those fields and so on competitors and finally I click on load data and finish so it will be uh, it will be finishing adding data into ClickSense in your current app. And then by using that data, we can perform the data visualization. So let's finish it. So the, the data loading is about to finish. It's taking some time because it will be getting data because it perform as you know that ClickSense performs in memory processing. So it gets, it loads the data from, uh, it loads the data from the data set into the RAM so it will be making a copy into RAM so it will take some time and once it does so it will allow us to create a new sheet for the data visualization I got a confirmation message that data has been loaded successfully and now a new sheet has been created so I can edit the sheet or I can simply close it so a new sheet has been created we can delete this sheet or we can open and edit the sheet so I'm going to I'm going with the same sheet. So I click on my new sheet and this sheet is basically empty right now. So there are no data visualization part here. There is no there are no graphs or charts which has been added. So I click on edit option to uh, to uh, to edit the sheet and I'm going to add some visualization onto it. So on the extreme left side, you can see there are four options coming charts, custom objects, master items and fields. If you click on charts, it will display all the charts which are available with ClickSense. Then we have custom objects. So there are no items right now. Links, basically link master items in the sense it will display the dimensions. We can add dimensions or measures or visualization or we can have all the fields. So these are all the fields which we have pulled from the opportunity. So first of all, I select chart and I add a bar chart, drag and drop the bar chart on this blank area on this canvas. And now I need to add dimension and measure. So to add dimension, I can click on dimension. I would like to, I would like to see the total revenue has been generated by opportunity according to opportunity. So my dimension will be name of the opportunity and the measures of on, on to, uh, on which we can perform calculations or we can apply aggregation function that comes under measures which can be measures so I select amount as total sum of amount so you can see it will give me a quick data visualization here uh, in the form of a bar chart and uh, that's a major sum of amount if you want to add any alternative measures we can do that sorting can be performed by sum of amount or by name so I want to perform uh, I want to do the sorting base according to name. So I would like, I'm going to close this and the sorting will be done uh, based on amount, something like this, right? So it should, it's auto right now. And uh, data, we can look at the data. We can add more uh, dimensions onto it from here. And if we say, if we want to change the appearance, we can do that by clicking on appearance bar, appearance tab. And from here we can change the journal. So I'll say opportunity. Uh, I'll give a title to this total or uh, revenue by 
a first name that's a subtitle any footnote you want to add presentation style can be changed we can change the uh, we can see that you can apply any expression here if you want presentation uh, what would be the presentation horizontal or vertical so I'll go with the horizontal that looks a little attractive color and legend so instead of auto I'm going to set a multi color by dimension and I got a multi uh, I got a chart with bar chart with the uh, multi color dimensions persistent color in terms if we made a if we select any specific field so the color will not change the color will remain same and it will show the legend if you want to show legend that's okay otherwise we can hide the legend and that show legend title and I and check this to show the legend so it will hide the legend for us so that's how we can quickly visualize the Salesforce data using ClickSense so that's all in this video I hope you like this video and you found this video very helpful if that's so don't forget to press the like button if you have any comments or any queries you can write to us you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on ClickSense keep watching have a nice day goodbye